Well, Joyce and Mark, people here are angry, they're confused, and they're trying to understand why workers here would lie to investigators about a, such a violent and frightening crime, which police now say was all just a setup. That was the busiest day they've had in a long time. Gail Gleason had never seen the place so busy. Dozens of people packed into the parking lot outside her shop, Discount Medical, last month to show support for the business next door, Bob's Burgers and Teriyaki's, where detectives were investigating a violent robbery and assault. And I think they wanted to make sure they knew they were, you know, loved and cared about in this neighborhood and appreciated. All anyone knew was that a pair of masked men allegedly tied up customers, demanded money, and sexually assaulted two women in the restaurant. Well, they just thought it was horrible. The King County Sheriff's Office now says that story was made up. Investigators say restaurant employees orchestrated the attack to avoid deportation. The Sheriff's Office says the workers wanted to get U visas, which are for crime victims who have suffered abuse and trauma. Regulars had a hard time stomaching the news. If it is a hoax, well, may God just go ahead and smack him in the mouth for lying. The violent nature of the crime resulted in a massive manhunt for the alleged suspects. But as detectives asked more questions, the stories didn't add up. Now they're investigating the workers at Bob's Burgers and say they may pursue charges for false reporting. I think that's just as absurd as hearing that such an awful thing happened next door. I don't. I don't know what to think about any of it. I spoke briefly with the son of the owner of this restaurant who says they are cooperating with authorities. He says when this all went down last month, they thought it was an actual crime in progress. He says they did not know it was a hoax. Beyond that, they declined to comment, and so did their attorney. Live in SeaTac, Ted Land, King 5 News.